gathered together from the cosmic reaches of the universe, here in this great hall of justice, are the most powerful forces of good ever assembled. Dedicated to truth, justice, and peace for all mankind. CC with Lee Weeks, and we want to talk about your work on Superman, Lois, and Clark. Uh, how did it feel to bring Superman, the iconic Superman, as most people feel, back to the DC Universe in that series? Uh, it was a joy, and it was a joy to do it with Dan Jurgens especially, since his long association with the character. But no, getting a chance to draw a classic character like that and doing it uh, in a very human way, even though he's Kryptonian, but he was very human. And, 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 uh, uh, it was a great time. It was just a great, one of my favorite jobs ever. One of the things I noticed about your art, uh, I followed you for a long time. I remember your Daredevil work. Really liked the stuff that you did there. But the Superman you portrayed here was a little bit more barrel-chested, really burly, beefy. Was there any influence from, say, Kurt Swan's work when you were doing this? Uh, not directly. Honestly, I, I, I probably wasn't much of a reader of Superman back then. I mean, I'm certainly aware of Kurt and you know that his important legacy in the history of part of the Superman right. legacy really Superman's history. Level to but uh, I think yeah. because that probably some there. of that <laughs> leaked through though in an unconscious way. Just through the years, that's the way I've seen Superman. He's more of a bigger... In fact, I wasn't aware that he wasn't bigger barrel chested. So if that was a change, I wasn't aware that I had changed anything in that regard. I thought that's what he was. So. No, no, it's, he is. Uh, and it falls in line with it. Just in contrast with some of the other work that I've seen, it just it uh, was very reminiscent of some of the stuff that I had earlier had seen with uh, Kurt Swan's work. And a lot of people are influenced by him, whether directly or indirectly, as you might have said. So it's just a, cur just a curiosity that might have filtered through. Yeah, when I say not directly, like I'm sure whoever's drawn him in that fashion figure probably goes back to. So it might be that I'm just a, a couple generations away from the, the influence. You know what I mean? That it, it, I just know that that's the Superman that resonates with me, whether it's Alex Ross drawing the big barrel chest and yeah, yeah, exactly. painting, or, or uh, whomever, but that's the way I see him. It's just a, a really big dude. So. The pencils on Superman, excellent. Lois comes across very vibrant, but my biggest, and I was really a fan of what you did with his son, John Kent, and I mean, can you talk a little bit about, you know, constructing, we first see John, he's a baby in Convergence, and then we have to have the design for him as a kid, and I really love the way he was prayed. He didn't come across as saccharine or dull, but just very vibrant, like a child should be, I guess to a certain extent. What was your process for that? You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I have like a, a definite process, but um, he's one of my favorite characters I've ever drawn. I had some of the most, and it wasn't just him, it was really the interaction of the three, that whole family vibe that, that uh, we were going for, and the interaction of them as, as people. You know, I, I love subtlety of acting, you know, stories where I can get into nuance of, of character and acting in the visuals. And Jonathan was just a joy to draw. I just I love the spirit of the, of the character the way I perceive it anyway. And I think it was in sync with the way Dan Dan conceived him. And uh, um, yeah, he was just a blast to draw. I'm not sure if, it, if I even answered your question. But. <laughs> I think you did. Okay. Last, when the series starts, he's in his, the classic outfit with the trunks and so, and then we have to move to the black. If you had a choice, which up, would it have mattered, or would, would you have liked to have gotten a chance to have drawn them a little bit more in that classic outfit? Yes. Yeah, I love that outfit. Yeah, I love the I love the trunks, and I don't I don't. I can't see that. You guys listening to me? I don't know what the resistance is to the trunks. If it looks too much like underwear, I I, I think. One of the, the, the without the trunks really looks probably more like underwear. Looks like a onesie. I mean, it's still a great character. I prefer the trunks. I'm a trunks guy. Lee Weeks, thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you, guys.